Okay, so we shall continue from where we left off in the previous lecture. So, in the previous lecture, we saw uh, how we saw how to give uh, different topologies on the same set X, and the set the set X could be any set. So, but today in this lecture, we will see uh, uh, some examples which are going to be more important in this course. So, uh, so the next example we are going to see is the standard topology. on the set of real numbers, so the real line. So, recall that, so recall that the by the interval a comma b in R, so this is a subset of R, we mean the set, we mean the subset definition is those real numbers x such that x is strictly less than a and strictly less than b. So, here the assumption is that a is strictly less than b and we allow a and b to be minus infinity and plus infinity. So, if a is equal to minus infinity, then this is those x in R such that x is strictly less than b. And similarly, if b is equal to plus infinity, then this is those x in R such that x is greater than a. So, in particular, R can be written as minus infinity from R. So, we want to define a topology on the real line. So, first let us um, define a property which we will denote by star. So, let u in R be a subset. So, we shall say that u satisfies this property. star. So, let us see what star is. If uh, for every point x in u, there is an epsilon positive. So, I just want to emphasize that the epsilon depends on x. such that when we take the interval x minus epsilon comma x plus epsilon, this is contained in u. So, let us see some two easy examples. Uh, for example, the interval 0 comma 1 satisfies property star. So, why is this? So, if we take sorry. so let us say this is 0 and this is 1. And if we take any x which lies in this interval, so x lies between. So, we can always find a small neighborhood. Okay, so, let me. 
So let this dis so this distance is x and this distance is 1 minus x. So if we take epsilon to be minimum of x by 2 and 1 minus x by 2, then so for us it will be something like this, then it can be checked easily. that the interval x minus epsilon x plus epsilon is contained in 0 1 and let us see one more example. So, however, mm, the interval if we take this interval 0 1, so this is those x in r such that x is greater than equal to 0 and strictly less than 1. Right? If we take this interval, so does not satisfy property star. So, why is that? So, if we take, um, so for the point 0, for the point 0 in this set, there is no epsilon positive such that uh, 0 minus epsilon comma 0 plus epsilon. So, this interval is simply equal to minus epsilon comma plus epsilon is contained in 0. So, there is no epsilon positive for which minus epsilon this interval minus epsilon comma epsilon is contained in this half open interval 0 1. So, therefore, this interval does not satisfy this property star. So, that sort of gives us an idea of uh, so, what kind of sets satisfy this property? So, we define a topology on R by letting tau, so tau in power set of x, so tau is equal to those u those subsets of R such that u satisfies property. So, we need to check, so to check that tau defines a topology on R, we need to check that it satisfies the three defining conditions for a topology. So, let us check these one by one. So, recall that the first condition was that phi the empty set and the entire set should be in tau. So, clearly the empty set is in tau because there is nothing to check, there is no x in the empty set and therefore, there is no condition to check and so it is this is vacuously true and it is also clear that clearly r is also in tau as for any x in r we can simply take epsilon to be 1 
and clearly x minus 1 comma x plus 1 it is contained there. So, therefore, this first condition first defining condition for being a topology is satisfied. So, for the second condition we need that if u 1 u 2 up to u n in tau are finitely many uh, subsets of R, then the intersection i equal to 1 to n u i should also be in tau. So, let us check that this condition is satisfied. So, we need to check that this intersection u i um, satisfies property star. Right. So, let us choose some x in the intersection. Right. So, in particular, so this implies that x belongs to u i for all i, yeah, i equal to 1, 2 to n. And since each u i satisfies property star, there exists some epsilon i positive such that the interval x minus epsilon i and x plus epsilon i is contained in u i. Okay. So, then so now let epsilon be equal to the minimum of epsilon 1, epsilon 2 up to epsilon n. Right. So, uh, clearly epsilon is positive because we have finitely many positive real numbers and we take the smallest one among them. So, that is also going to be positive. Uh, so, and it is also clear that x minus epsilon comma x plus epsilon this interval is contained in x minus epsilon i comma x plus epsilon i. Right, because this is x and let us say this is x minus epsilon i and this is x plus epsilon i. So, epsilon is the smallest one among all these epsilon i's. So, therefore, x minus this will be x plus epsilon and this will be x minus epsilon. Okay. So, uh, so, this implies that this x minus epsilon comma x plus epsilon, this is a subset of x minus epsilon i, x plus epsilon i, which is contained in u i. And this happens for all i. So, in particular, this implies that this interval x minus epsilon this is a subset of the intersection of the ui's yeah so this shows that this intersection ui satisfies property star yeah so therefore the second condition for being a topology, this is also satisfied. <coughs> and finally, we have to check one more condition. So, let i be a set and suppose for each i, we are given uh, u 
i in tau. So, then we need to show that the union u i i belongs to i is in tau. That is it satisfies property star. So, uh, once again this is easy. So, we apply the same method that we used in the to show proper the second case. So, we just take any x in in this union then there is some j uh, j in i such that x belongs to uj okay now since uj satisfies star there is an epsilon positive such that x minus epsilon x plus epsilon is a subset of u j. Okay. So, in particular, so this implies that x plus epsilon sorry x minus epsilon comma x plus epsilon is contained in u j which in turn is contained in the union of all these u i's. So, thus this we have proved that this u i s it satisfies uh, property star. Okay. That is thus this union is also in tau. So, therefore, tau also satisfies the third condition. So, all these implies that tau defines a topology on R uh, and which is which we call the standard topology. So, in the same way that we define this topology on R, uh, we can define a topology on R 2 and more generally R n. So, let us do the example for R 2 also and the example of R n will be left as an exercise. So, this is our fifth example, the standard topology on R 2. So, this example is similar to the previous one. So, we define. So, but before that first just the way we have intervals we are going to define some we define uh, an open square of side length. epsilon around a point a comma b in R 2 as follows. So, we define, so we will call this s epsilon a comma b. This is defined to be those points in R 2 such 
such that the absolute value of x minus a is less than epsilon and the absolute value of y minus b is less than epsilon. So, in terms of a diagram, so this looks like the following. Maybe I can make it on the next page. So, suppose we take a point a comma b here and So, this distance, this length is epsilon, this length, the center is the point A comma B and this length is epsilon this length is epsilon, this length is epsilon, this length is epsilon. So, yeah. so this is the uh, a picture of this open square and uh, so now that we have defined this, so let us define the analog of property star. So, uh, we say that a subset u in R2 satisfies property star if, uh, so this is a property star. So, maybe I can, okay, if you want you can denote it by star 2 so that you do not confuse it with the same star earlier, but I will be lazy and I will call this property star. Uh, for every point a comma b in u, there is an epsilon positive such that uh, s epsilon a comma b is completely contained inside you. And once again, this epsilon, epsilon depends on the point a comma b or it may depend on the point a comma b. It does not have to be the same for all points in u. So, as before, let us take an example of, let us see two examples of one set which satisfies this property and another which does not. So, for example, uh, if we take the set u to be those a comma b in R in R 2 says that a square plus b square is strictly less than 1. Uh, then we claim that u satisfies property star. So, uh, so here we have R two.
this is our circle. So, this has radius 1. maybe I can indicate. So, this is the point let us say 1 comma 0. So, the set u is the region inside the circle and the point to note is that if you take any point over here which is in this green region the interior of this. So, then we can always find an s epsilon so such that so for any so for any point a comma b in u we can find an epsilon positive such that this set is contained in u. Okay? So, this is left as an exercise. And uh, so, maybe I should have um, this is the open interval. So, And similarly, similar to the non example we had seen, however, if we take the set V, this is those a comma b in R in R2, such that a square plus b square is less than or equal to 1, right. So, then we claim that. V does not satisfy property star. So, why is that? Because okay. so our set V is this. This is one zero. Now, if you take the point 1 0, then no matter which, no matter how small we take epsilon, this s epsilon will always go outside this region v. So, if we take the point, one zero in v, then uh, for any epsilon positive, uh, s epsilon a 1 0 is not going to be contained in b. Okay? So, this is also left as an exercise. Okay. So, uh, we will stop here and uh, in the next lecture we will continue with the proof that tau defines a topology on r2 thank you